What about sort of moving on to measurements then? You know, companies got to, you know, if they're going to be hiring for revenue ops, they're going to be thinking about what are we going to gain from it? What are we going to benefit from it? And, and obviously, if you're in a revenue ops role, you're going to be thinking about how you should be measured and how you should be able to, to uh, define the success of, of your role. How does that sort of work then in terms of measurements? <clears throat> I love this because I, I am one of the marketers that believes, well, actually I should stop calling myself a marketer because now I understand very well sales and customer <laughs> success. So I'm a, I'm a revenue executive. That's what I would say. But, um, but I am, I am of the belief, like if you cannot measure it, then most likely it's going to be a headache. You can still do it, but it's going to be a headache. Um, so to, to, to defining like, what do you, how do you measure success of, of revenue operations? I think on, there's a basic level that everyone should be looking at, and then there's, uh, there's taking it to the next level. So on the basic level, you should be comparing the organization, uh, with typical volume, value, and velocity benchmarks, and therefore conversion rates, how fast an, an opportunity becomes from stage one to stage two to stage three, et cetera, et cetera. Or if you want to call it um, AQL to MQL, MQL to SQL, to SAL, to conversion, uh, wh wh however you are managing that funnel. Uh, that's, that's the first thing, comparing those three, the, what we call and what, what was um, established by my previous company, the 3BC model. So again, repetition, volume, value, velocity, and conversion rates. Then... Taking that to the more, I want to be more sophisticated at the party, mm -hmm. uh, we can start looking at things that are a little more complex. What are those? Forecasting. Having a low variance of their forecasting efforts, that's a must. Uh, mm -hmm. If you already hit that point where you are effectively doing forecasting, because again, if you're not doing forecasting, positive or negative, then it's kind of really hard to measure. The other thing, on-time QBRs. And, and the last thing uh, that a friend of mine calls home base is your SLAs. Uh, what's the time of response, of response on those SLAs? So I think those, those things are kind of taking the extra, extra step. And that's how you're going to really, I, I mean, and in this case, if you have um, forecasting effectively, uh, most likely you already have the leader of the revenue operations organization inside of, of your company. Um, so this, this is what they should be very, very vigilant about. And where's the best place to go and get those benchmark figures then? That's going to be, uh, for example, in SaaS, there's really good uh, reports that come from companies like uh, Forestair. Yeah. Uh, those, those companies that make that all they do is research. Yeah. Go and take a look at those because uh, generally you have a really good understanding of where you should be according mm -hmm. to your industry, of course. But, uh, but um, yeah, there, there's, there's a couple of resources there. There's also uh, communities, uh, paid communities. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, but uh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit more. Uh, but generally ask, be mm -hmm. the person that is confident asking. If you have a friend in a similar position or in another company that it's also a SaaS company, go and be brave and say like, hey, mm -hmm. can you share? Is it possible for you to share what is your what is your definition of a lead? Like start from the basics, yeah, uh, and then go and say, are you are you having uh, on time QBRs? Are you having SLAs? What's the time of of, of conversion? Uh, how long it takes from stage three to stage four to happen? How many days we're talking about? How long is your sales cycles? Um, so by having that information and be the person that asks the questions, I think I think that's the right direction to go always with everything. <laughs> 